What's the first animated movie that comes to your head right now? Go. I know, right? There's far too many. It just goes on and on. Okay, have you got one? Good? Nice. I'll tell you the one film that always comes to my mind. And that is, yes, Kung Fu Panda. But why? Let's look at the title from the face value itself. A silly, goofy panda played by Jack Black who learns Kung Fu. I know, right? It sounds pretty stupid, yeah. But think about it, isn't this the idea that makes animated movies what they are today? You got something that is completely unordinary and you got something that's completely ordinary. You have the animation, you have the fantasy. That is what it's defined as. Let me show you some examples. You got a whole family of supers, you got a rat who's a brilliant chef, a world of monsters in your closet, your toys are alive. Now you got DreamWorks making Jack Black as a panda who learns Kung Fu. You get the point. All these movies offer something that is much more than face value. They teach you, they entertain you, they give you incredible lessons about life, originality, acceptance, the importance of family. It's why they're loved so much. But when we talk about great animated movies, that is why I always include Kung Fu Panda. There's always that one movie, the one trilogy that's always been overlooked. I mean, seriously, when was the last time you thought about Kung Fu Panda? When is the last time you actually watched the movie? I mean, I haven't seen the fourth one and I'm hearing that it's not so great. So you know what? I'm gonna just forget about that right now. It deserves to be recognized for its ground storytelling, moral messages and gorgeous animation. Let me explain this with the amazing opening sequence, the opening dream sequence. I mean, come on, that opening title, how can you miss that? The stone skipping sound, the lynx leapfrog, the lilies in the background, the village setting, the lemon grass, the ancient bell sound. And then when you see this dream sequence in 2D animation, you got John Powell and Hans Zimmer's breathtaking score. While witnessing it, you already know this movie is gonna be something special. And that's exactly how I felt every time I watch it. You got Jack Black narrating it in the most serious tone. His first words are, Legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. It's so wonderfully goofy and funny exactly what you need. How can you take this seriously? The tone is exactly what you need. It's not just for comedy. The 2D animation is utilized perfectly to provide that distinct separation between dream and reality. It's executed masterfully. There's a reason why this film has 54 art department credits. This entire sequence has no CGI. It's all traditionally hand-drawn. This entire thing, it just makes you realize how much work and effort and love people put into art. When I think about Kung Fu Panda, I think about the moral message of good and evil through color, editing and graphics. It's almost like a comic book coming to life. The yellow and the red color reflect Poe's mentality in his dream. Powerful, energetic, a hero who he is. The dream establishes the film's use of contrast, a comedic moment shown in such a dramatic action sequence. It encourages us to laugh in the face of danger, just like Poe does in the dream. And then the character of Poe, when he wakes up, every single kid watching this, including me, saw the scene and went, yep, that's me. That's me. That I just woke up this morning and that's exactly how I was. We can all relate to the character and that's one of the beloved things about this film. Such a childlike behavior, so happy, energetic. How can you not love him? His love and passion for Kung Fu tells you so much about the writing of this movie. They take their time with these characters to build them up, to create that arc, to show how they're going to get the point of when he is able to learn Kung Fu and fulfill his dream and destiny to get the point across of how the audience can be on his side. His life isn't that special like his dream. He's helping out his dad, who is a goose, by the way. How's, how's that happened? <laughs> Look at the difference between the 2D and the 3D. The animation really was ahead of its time back in 2008 and it completely went over our heads. As the film goes on, it has a very conventional story, but it's done so beautifully with so much heart. As someone who is so deeply moved by visual storytelling and character depth in cinema, this film is a work of art. We easily connect with the protagonist just from that opening sequence alone. 
It's able to make a story that can dive deep into the human experience. We go through every emotion and feeling of struggle, self-doubt, acceptance, identity, self-discovery, loss, laughter, joy. Each film raises that emotional stake. Yes, it's a conventional narrative of an underdog, but it's how it's executed through its universal messages. It's a martial arts spectacle, sure, but the profound life lessons of courage, belief, embracing our true identity. It's able to connect and resonate with multiple cultures and generations around the world. It's an example of what a genre can achieve when storytelling is elevated to an art form. Po is a fanboy of Kung Fu. He idolizes the Furious Five. It's literally his dream to be this epic warrior. Seeing his dream can inspire so many young children like us to have their own goals and ambitions, to try and make that come true, just like Po did. That's the beauty of Kung Fu Panda. Everything starts with a dream. You must naturally already envision this success in order to actually get it. Of course, it's a kid's movie, there is a conventional story, but it's done beautifully with a lot of heart. You have a big fat panda who is obviously not cut out for this role as Dragon Warrior, but when you have a very insightful mentor like Master Ugwe who says, There are no accidents. He's not just talking to Poe, he's talking to you, he's talking to us. He's letting us know that yes, life has all these blocks and turns, but it always happens for a reason.